Hi, this is Bonnie Gale, and here I am at Beverly Hills High School. Let's see if you can see the letters over here. Yeah, I'm sitting down at the high school. And, you know, it's really interesting. I went to a spa yesterday where it used to be a totally naked spa, and all of a sudden I realized that it is now a clothing optional spa, which means you could wear like a bra and underwear or bathing suit inside the spa area if you choose to but you're not forced to and it was interesting because i was thinking about uh you know why would somebody want to wear a bathing suit or bra and underwear when they could be totally free and what i realized is that most people aren't totally free in their bodies they don't feel comfortable in their bodies and they don't look at themselves and see themselves as they really are and they don't feel beautiful and they don't think that they're beautiful and so therefore they are not being beautiful and that's really sad for me in fact it was interesting because there were people there probably from in their 20s to I would say in their 60s and I'm in my 50s I'm 51 now and the people that were wearing the bras and underwear and the bathing suits were the ones that were in their 20s and 30s. And if I, you know, would have, you know, when I looked at them, I saw them as very beautiful. I mean, there was nothing wrong with them, but I could see how uncomfortable they were. Even when they had their bra and underwear on, if they were walking around, they had like their towel wrapped tight and just like covering up as much as they possibly could. And, you know, I just felt sad that that's the world that we were brought up in today because, you know, it really should be about loving yourself and feeling comfortable in your body. And, you know, the statistics are that 98% of women dislike something about themselves and 80 to 90% of women really dislike a lot of things about themselves and the way that they look. And those are sad numbers. And those numbers come from the World Health Organization. They're not just something that I made up. And you know, all of those statistics affect how we see and feel about ourselves and what we end up doing with our lives and who we end up with in a relationship and how that relationship shows up in the world. So it's really time for us to start really learning to love ourselves and accept our bodies. And if we want to make positive changes, that's cool. There's nothing wrong with that. But really start learning to love yourself. Uh, check out more information about this at bonniegale.com and check out more fun things also at the Sex Butter Diaries at sexbutter.net. Thank you so much.